In news from Jamaica, I am being punished. That's the declaration from the opposition senator that has found herself in the midst of controversy. Opposition Senator Marlene Malahu Ford contends that her suspension from the upper house is nothing short of a witch hunt. The JLP senator argues that she is being chastised by her government colleagues for her stance on the Caribbean Court of Justice, CCJ, as Jamaica's final appellate court. The fact that somebody may dislike what I say or may be rubbed the wrong way by it doesn't make it unparliamentary. So yesterday I expressed my considered view about the approach being taken in these bills. I said then and I still maintain that the approach makes a mockery of the constitutional scheme. They jumped up and asked that I withdraw it. I said I wouldn't withdraw it. I was forced to my principal limit because I notice a tactic that has been employed when they do not like something, they force you to withdraw it and the only thing you could be guilty of in the end is a refusal to obey the instruction to refuse, to, to, to withdraw the instruction of the president. So today I was asked to hand over a letter and I did promise to give it. Mind you, I'm not under any legal obligation to hand it over. There's nothing untoward my having it. I didn't have it then. I retrieved it. I copied it. On a Friday, Senate President Floyd Morris suspended opposition Senator Marla Hu Fort for what he described as her contemptuous and disrespectful behavior. The Senate President took decisive action after Mrs. Marla Hu Fort failed to provide him with a letter to substantiate her claims that the UK Privy Council had expressed an interest to hear cases in Jamaica. Mrs. Marla Hu Fort made the comment previously during her contribution to the debate on the three bills to replace the UK Privy Council with the Caribbean Court of Justice, CCJ. In handing down his charge, Mr. Morris said the opposition senator would be barred from the Senate chamber until she delivers the letter. So does Mrs. Malahu Fort have the letter? And I did say I would make it available. Absolutely. But they were giving the impression as if there was something untoward my having the letter. Because let me tell you what the letter says. The letter makes it very clear that the Privy Council is available to sit in Jamaica if and when requested by the government of Jamaica. And it sets out the conditions under which they would come. So all of this issue about no access to justice, the letter rubbishes that. So if we were to arrange our court sittings and say, all right, at a certain time of year, all matters that should go to the Privy Council are going to be listed. We send an invitation in advance to the Privy Council and we make the arrangements. It could happen. The action by the Senate President has left JLP legislators fuming. On Sunday, members of JLP Area Council 1 passed a resolution calling for an opposition boycott of the Senate until the suspension is lifted. The action is also threatening cordial relations between the government and the opposition. Opposition Senator and JLP Chairman Robert Montague believes the Senate President might have acted unnecessarily. Mrs. Malawuford gave her word. She's under no obligation. She, by her own efforts, got this letter from the Privy Council. She knew it existed and she retrieved it from the Privy Council through the assistance of a Privy Council. She gave her word and her undertaking, and she's a lady of honor, that she would get a copy to the President. And she went further. She said she would even facilitate the Minister of Justice, who said that he can't find it in the ministry. That's not her fault. That's not her fault. The letter, we know that the letter is in the Ministry of Justice. It is there. And I'm surprised that the minister that is calling to question the very good workers at the Ministry of Justice because we have confidence in their ability. And if he just went to the registry, the letter would be produced by the Honorable Minister. In her defense, Senator Mrs. Malahu Fort said she was at lunch when the marshal summoned her on behalf of the Senate President. She explains that she then requested her handbag to use the restroom. She insists the perception that she was hiding is far from the truth. She was having her lunch as a female. She was called by the marshal. She indicated that she was going to the restroom to wash her hands. Remember, it is the very Ministry of Health, and she is the spokesperson in health, that says you must wash your hands to prevent the spread of foot and mouth disease. And she was doing just that. She sent for her bag to retrieve a feminine item. Normally, we would say a feminine unmentionable. And in that process, she is suspended. 
she is suspended because she was paying attention to things sanitary. Meanwhile, opposition Senator Tom Tavares Vincent says it could be impractical to ask Mrs. Malahu Ford to produce a letter after she has been suspended from the Senate. In a letter to Senate President Floyd Morris on Monday, Mr. Finson, who is also the leader of opposition business in the Senate, cited Section 4311 of the Standing Orders, which reads, A member who is directed to withdraw or is suspended under this standing order shall not be entitled to attend the sitting from which was directed to withdraw or in the case of a suspension to attend any sitting or enter the precincts of the Senate until the determination of his suspension. Mr. Tavares argues that the mo motion to suspend his colleague was ill-advised and irrational. Another opposition senator concurs. We are saying, in light of all of this, you're going to fix a date. You want to complete the CCJ debate. What is more important? This is a witch hunt. This is they are getting at Mrs. Malawu Fort because she gave very strong arguments, very clear arguments. She took a very technical subject yesterday and she made it clear to the ordinary Jamaican. So, and we are insisting that the ordinary Jamaican should get a chance. And we repeat, do not hide. Let the people decide. Meanwhile, Senate President Floyd Morris believes his action was justified. He maintains that Senator Malahu Fort breached these standing orders. He has called a press conference for Tuesday to clarify issues to the Senate going forward.